Hi, today we're going to talk about Martha's American Food by Martha Stewart, a celebration of our nation's most treasured dishes from coast to coast. This is a very nice book. It's large, sturdy, high quality cover, high quality paper. It's all American with an introduction. So we have the classic potato salad. It starts out with All-American and then it goes into a regions like the Midwest. Um, this would be the South, okra, fried okra. But it starts out with just general American, like everybody has a potato salad, a macaroni and cheese, a pot roast. Um, you'll notice that the recipes are very well laid out you're going to have pictures. There's pictures, beautiful pictures, of how it's going to look when you're done or how it's supposed to look when you're done. I'll admit it doesn't always look like that, but this is how it's supposed to look. <laughs> and the ingredients are all laid out. This being um, sort of an all-American cookbook, the ingredients are very easy to find. There's nothing uh, that's going to be difficult that you can't find in a grocery store. Um, Here's the directions, one, two, three, all laid out how to do it. Very easy to follow. Uh, each, most of the recipes have these little back stories that tell you like, you know, we have mothers to thank for pot roast, or if you come over here to maple bunt cake, ooh. Um, the Northeast back story, uh, and it tells you about um, how this bunt cake is infused with Vermont maple syrup. So those are kind of interesting. It's like as you're going through, it gives you a little history of the recipe. It gives you uh, the pictures. I will say that I really like this book. Uh, I checked it out from the library first uh, because I'm trying to limit how many cookbooks I get because I'm just overflowing with cookbooks and said, no, I'm going to buy this. I actually like this a lot. However, I will say that if you're looking for unique, new, if you're looking for, you know, Wiley Dufresne and, and foam and this and that, and you're not going to get it with this book. This is exactly what it says it is. It's, it's classic American recipes in one place. Uh, you know, maybe the, the best recipes, very well laid out. Uh, this is where you're going to find your Buckeyes, your fried chicken, your uh, hot dish, um, you know, corn dogs. This is not going to be anything super new uh, with super different techniques. It's just like one place to find some really good recipes. Because each chapter is divided by location like southeast the south the west you're not going to have all the desserts in one place you're not going to have like all the main dishes in one place because it's done by region however that's not really a problem because excuse me as you can see it's got a very nicely laid out table of contents so if you're looking for cookies you, you'll be able to find cookies back here uh, all in all uh, just another high quality book very nice. Um, it has drinks. Oh, look at those oyster po' boys. Mm -mm -mm. Red beans and rice. And I can, I can tell you from having lived in Virginia, El Paso, Newport, Rhode Island, New Jersey, New Orleans, and Memphis, that these recipes, in Korea, but it does not go into foreign foods, that these recipes are what you will find here. They will, you know, what you will go into a restaurant, what you'll go into a home and find. These are uh, accurate, you know, the oyster pull boys. So this is a very nice and highly recommended cookbook if you're interested in going back to some basic regional foods, learning about the, the foods, and just producing beautiful and delicious meals. So this is highly recommended.